Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see how we can create our organization folder and projects in GCP. So, first of all, we'll see uh, what are the resource hierarchy in a GCP. So, in resource hierarchy, you could see the organization will be the root node of all other resources. So, first it comes to your organization, and organization can be your a company domain. So suppose if you are working for a XYZ company, then organization will be like XYZ.com for your GCP project. And then uh, that organization can have multiple folders, subfolders, and then inside of folders, uh, you can have a uh, projects. And inside project, you will have multiple cloud services. So that will be the hierarchy of your uh, GCP. So in this hierarchy, your organization will be a root node of your Google Cloud. So when we can say a organization, so if you are using a free trial account or if you are creating a GCP account, uh, so you can say, let me go to my GCP console. So if I go to here all, so whenever I am creating uh, any free trial account or a personal account, you can say this a uh, no organization, organization name is a no organization will be shown here and it's your personal account. So nothing is tagged to the organization and this means you are not belong to any organization or your projects is not belong to any organization but suppose if you are working for any company and then that company will have their domain created and that will be your organization so let me show here so here techtapture.com so this is my organization name so this is my organization name and in techtapture.com i will have my two folders techtapture admin tech capture R&D <clears throat> and inside this folder I'll have a multiple project so currently I've created a single project TT admin hyphen 01 and TT dev hyphen 01 so that will be your hierarchy so first it will come as an organization then it will come your folders and then your project inside folder and inside project you will have multiple services like storage service compute service your VMs your storage bucket that will come inside your project now first of all how we can create an organization so to create an organization you should have a two things with you so first is a domain and second is a workspace account so to create a workspace account you will need a domain so you can buy a domain from any of the domain registers so you can buy it from a godaddy or a google domain or there are multiple domain provider on internet so you can buy any of the domain so i already bought a domain this tech trapped domain from a google domain so let me show how we can buy a domain so i already buy a domain so you can go to domains.google.com register and from here you can purchase a domain for you this should be unique so here you could see my domain already available here which is I already purchased so suppose if I click on get new domain so you can create new domain or you can type a domain name whatever you are looking for suppose I'll just uh, type techtrapture.com again it will show it is not available <coughs> okay it will show you already own this domain so suppose I'll uh, type xyz.com and we'll see if this is available okay xyz is already registered so it means someone is already using this a uh, domain so you should have a unique uh, domain name if you want to use or if you want to purchase that domain so suppose I am using something I'll just type dot com and I'll click enter so it will suggest you the option so this is available exact match is available and they will suggest you option so if you are using dot com that will be your price at 60 per year and if you are using dot net dot org dot info then this price will vary and then you can go to payment option and you can buy this domain so that is the process on how you can buy domain so suppose once you purchased your domain so I just purchased uh, this domain just take example so techtrapture.com I purchased now I want to create a Google workspace account so I'll go to Google workspace 
so you can assume you purchased domain now and you have to create an organization in gcp then first step you need to create a google workspace account so you can use a free trial account first so i'll go to google workspace 14 day free trial account and i'll show you how we can register for a google workspace free trial account so what is google workspace so google workspace is nothing but you could say a set of application using the gmail your google drive google meet and all these application which are used along with your uh, gmail so suppose i will use a start free trial account so it will ask me to put some info so i will put uh, info here email address i will put something xyz at the rate abc dot com and workspace so i just want for a small team or mid-sized team so the workspace account will be used for your organization so it will ask uh, what is your organization size if it is just you or it is just a small team or if it is your personal project or as suppose it is mid size so i will just suppose to two to nine people and specify domain now here you have to specify the domain which you already purchased so here you have two option either existing domain or a create new domain if you create a new domain that will also uh, direct you to the google domains so once you specify domain here and you follow the payment or like the registration process so if you are going for a free trial account you have to follow the registration process then you will be part of a google workspace account and your workspace account will be created so and you will navigate to the cloud uh, admin console so let me show you how will be your admin console so once you created your google workspace account your admin console will look like this and here will be your domain so this is your primary domain and you can create a number of users so suppose you are using this workspace account for your organization you can add user so that user will be assigned to your uh, organization email so suppose i can create user currently i am only having one user so you can create user uh, xyz then user's email id you can give xyz at the techcapture.com or a secondary email for recovery and that you can give that option so that is the process of creating organization account so suppose once my organization account is created for this user vishal.bulbule at the rate techcapture.com and if i log in using this email so currently i logged in using this email id and i logged in using this email id and open a console.cloud.com okay console.cloud.com so this organization will be automatically available for me i just need to agree the terms and condition and this organization will be available to me now that is the organization now we have organization how we can create a folders and we can say a project so once your organization created so the first user or whoever created the organization will have a required role that is organization admin so i'll so currently see here i am part of this organization i am not in inside any project i am in organization okay and in organization i am going to iim so i am going in iim at organization level not at the project level so here you could see i will be having a role of organization admin so as i created this organization or i created or i am the super user of the workspace account i will be having this organization admin and later i have provided myself a role of folder admin folder admin role is required because you can create a folders inside your organization now how i can create a folders inside my organization so from here you can go to manage resources okay and now you can create a folder so where you want to create a folder so i click here and i want to create a folder so folder name suppose i'll just give capture and i will give the name as a prod or suppose i want to use it for a prod organization i have to select so currently i am part of only work organization so it will show only one option here and the location so suppose i want to create in inside organization or i want to create the folder 
in another folder or a sub folder so i can navigate from here but i want to create at the root of the organization so i'll create here so it will take few seconds to create your folder inside your organization okay so let me reload a couple of times it will show few seconds to reflect the folders you created so here you can see the progress uh, if you created it's created or there is any error you can check progress from here okay so it is created but it's not showing so we can do one thing we can try to create this again so it will give an error and then we can see that so now it will give error that the folder name should be unique okay so i'll close this now and i'll try to reload this so it should show me the folder name now So let me reload a complete URL. So I'll go to organization. So it is taking a few seconds to reflect the folder we created yeah now you could see we have created this tick tap your prod folder here and here there is not showing any drop down because this folder won't have any project so you can see above project rnd project and admin project already have the project inside it so that's why they are showing uh, the drop down there so suppose i want to create a new project now inside this folder so i'll click on this uh, folder and i'll create project project name i'll just give tt prd001 okay and where i want to create so i want to create inside the folder not in the root so i'll use this folder and then I'll create so one project will be created for me inside this tech capture prod folder okay so project is created for me let me reload my page yeah so you could see there are a project inside each folder and now you could see the hierarchy so suppose if you have access on your techrapture.com uh, organization then you will have access on your all the folders and all the project inside your organization so this iam or you could say the identity and access management access level will follow from top to bottom so suppose if you are having access at your folder level then you will have access to all the resources inside your a project so just let me show you i'll just uh, go to this rnd project so from here i'll just go to rnd project now what i will do i will first go to iam and here you could see i have only two access 
so now i will assign one access at organization level so i am assigning access on organization level so suppose i will give the role viewer on organization level okay and now i will go inside my any one of the project so i will just go to dev project iam and you could see i am having viewer role inside this project as well so as i am having access on organization level i can have access inside all the folders and a project now just take example inside my dev project i will assign access so i'll just assign access in this project only so i am assigning editor access or editor role inside this project so i only provided editor access inside this project and i will verify if this editor role is other project as well so i'll go to prod project and i'll verify so it should not be there because i am given access at lower level so you could see access is not available in other project it means if you are giving access at org level it will applicable in all the folders and project inside your organization same if you are giving access at folder level it will be applicable inside all the project in your folder okay so this access level flow from top to a bottom in the hierarchy so this will be a hierarchy so in this way we can create a organization folders and project in using a google workspace or a google domain so let me know if you have any question regarding creating organization folders or project so thank you for watching the video